Here it is, the bomb. I right. haven't tried this one yet. It's the yeah. initiation here. Yeah. That's not nice. Yo, you have it like all over your mouth. I'm scared for it you. It hurts. Let's go. This is really spicy. Oh my. Hey guys, we are in the thick of Times Square. I'm super excited because we're headed to the first We Feast, Hot Ones HQ. We're gonna go meet with Sean, talk about his creative process, and you know, see what it's all about, what it takes to make an episode of Hot Ones. And then afterwards, we're gonna go visit Noah, the pepper sommelier at Heatness. I'm super excited because I have a lot of burning questions. And we're gonna go check it out. So come with me. Getting kind of nervous. I, I imagine how some of the guests might feel going up this elevator. Oh my God, am I gonna die today? We'll see. There we go. Oh my God. <laughs> it's camera guy Bill. Oh my God, am I in a nightclub Welcome. or something? Yeah, come what on the? In. Yeah. <laughs> I love your oh, outfit. Oh, oh my you. God, yeah. your tie. Yeah, gotta stay on brand, uh, you know? <laughs> so on brand. Yeah. Welcome to the first week feast uh, tower. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. It is, yeah. There's a lot to see. And we're walking. Where are we going? Where, where are, are you we, taking We are going to? to, this is the brain hive. This is the first week feast desk collective. Uh -huh. This is where all the ideas happen. Hey. Hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Ooh, is that you? No, that's not you. <laughs> Can you show me some yeah, of the this is kind really of embarrassing. fun stuff you guys have here? Look, put the camera like. on Sarah Honda. She's a legend. Hi, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> Been with the show since the beginning. Executive producer. We got a lot of our Reeboks. One of the proudest oh, moments in Hot Ones history. Awesome. I don't know what size you are. I have really Can small you do things. a unisex four? Yes. I right. actually three Hit and a half unisex. Some, <gasps> some of the classics. Wait, this is for real? Like yeah, I can keep this? This is for you. Sneakers. Check this out, you guys. The Hot Ones logo in the back. Of course. I'll hold these for you and we'll okay, you. give them to you on the way up. Don't forget, that, th that better be for real. This is also something I'm super hyped about. I survived the last dab. I that will, oh my gosh. And who gets to have so this? This is only for guests on the show uh -huh. who literally survived the last dab. There's a lot of fan mail. There's a lot of like fan mail that stacks up here, so That's you always awesome. know fan mail is good when it comes on graphing paper. Sean and Christopher, within, please find a check for each of you, given as a tithe to you both for sharing your creativity with the world in the wow. form of hot ones. Two $50 checks. That's so I mean, so maybe we'll generous. kind of uh, blur some of this out. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Jamie who sent us this. That's we really did not amazing. cash them, but we did appreciate them. This was sitting here. This is amazing. What is it? A game? This that is you're creating? no. These are storyboards oh. that our DP Steven for how the hot sauces mm -hmm. are shot in every new season. This is it's top incredible. secret. Top secret. Oh, oh we're not to look at. Are we not secret. allowed oh. to show this? Secret. I want to show you the like, Museum of Curiosities. What is the Museum of Curiosities? You'll see, but we should <laughs> scoop up Sean, who's prepping in the studio. This is Dom and Victoria, Hi. the bosses of the sauce. Oh, uh, huh. I'm undoing, so where the magic I'm undoing all the other important things. <laughs> they sauce the wings for the episodes, and they're the reason that celebrities cry. Well, I'm excited to see it, ladies. Yeah, nice to meet you. We're nice excited. to meet you. See you guys soon. Next stop, Sean. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. <laughs> That's Sarah. Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah. Hi. <laughs> this is where it all started. This is it. Sean, are you decent? Yeah, come on. Okay. Decent? <laughs> this is it. What's up? Hey. Oh, my God. Welcome. Yeah. It's where it all starts. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see please, you. Please, please. Oh, I get to sit yeah, in this, yeah. have the a magic seat. Have chair? A seat. To get to pretend like, oh, here it is, the bomb. I right. haven't tried this one yet. It's the yeah. initiation here. That's the initiation? <laughs> That's crazy. So I know you're about to film soon, so what, what happens here? Yeah, I'd like to take an hour to try to just like soak in the run of show, mm -hmm. talk with Chris, maybe we'll do some last second adjustments. And then in the last 10 minutes, you just try to put positive thoughts in your head. And <laughs> <laughs> what is the research process? I know that your brother kind of helps you yeah, do yeah. the research. Are you just like a crazy like stalker? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, kind of. I'll take as much time as I can to learn as much as I possibly can can about mm -hmm. a guest. I know that Gavin will dive into the written word a lot. Yeah. You know, I'll, if it's a movie star, 
watch their filmography as much as I can on it. Right. If they've written a book, I'll read it. So then uh, Gavin will send me a dossier. I'll compare that with the stuff that I've come up with. Chris will send an email with like the kinds of ideas that he mm -hmm. has. And then between that, we can kind of start to work through and figure out what a run a show looks like. Even if it serves the interview or not, it's almost for me like a karma thing. If it doesn't go as planned, at least I did my part. If it goes sideways, it's on to bomb. You could have probably like done a lot yeah, of homework. You don't, you're right. And then when you're sitting here and they're like, fuck this, and they like walk out, right. you can't really. And that's when you see sometimes like Sean's prep like reels them back in. My favorite example of that is Chelsea Handler, uh -huh. who is getting like a little. Our communication is really dwindling, I oh, feel like. Here, I'm still connected. Are I'm you? still connected. Mm -hmm. I'm connected to not <clears throat> continuing to eat these wings. And then Sean said something to her about climbing mountains or skiing, and she's like, what do you know what I like? How do you know what I'm up to? <laughs> and then he like had like a perfect example, yeah. and she was like, I respect that you researched me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. You really do your research. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you take your job seriously. And then she's back at the table. Uh, what's up with the museum, well, you guys? We gotta find out, we can't spoil yeah. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this museum, how did it come about? Is it like a real like thing? Or so it just... it's just a way to grab a memento from each shoot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it's kind of grown out of control to where now it's like, like it's fully own... archived back here. This right here Amazing. is the ukulele from John Mayer's episode. I remember when he grabbed it, he just started instinctively tuning it. This is from, um, this is from David Blaine. That's really awesome. And David on the back Blaine it says, and great your great team is the best. There your team is. is the best. We did multiple pre production calls with him oh, you did? Uh -huh. where he's asking us questions like how many people are in the room like what time did they get there why is David Blaine oh, asking is it because these he's questions trying to, like do a crazy trick yeah. like that yeah. and so he was That's sort of insane. like casing the joint uh -huh. for how he was gonna pull off Damn. whatever trick he was gonna bring to the table OG Hot Ones fans would recognize uh -huh. this as the uh, Vince Staples ranch um, that ranch so if you were wondering if we still had this don't open it. We do. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Oh, there, there you go. are all the photos. That's a treasure trove. This is a treasure that trove. That so, guy should oh frame God. it. Sadly, we've kind of Stop discontinued this practice, oh, but we used to have a Polaroid after every shoot. <gasps> Charlize. Billy Eilish. Oh, 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 Billy Eilish. Like, uh, right there. Oh, that's awesome. Remembering how Billy's mom came yeah. and was really oh, great. Did? Awesome. I love when people's families oh. come. Yeah. Often the kids are the ones who push their parents, parents into like, the room. Can you please do it. Can you That's please? kind yeah. of how the secret of Hot Ones booking. Yeah. 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 The kids. Hey, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to steal this guy. Oh, okay. Down. All right. I'm all <laughs> Sean. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Ready to try some some hot sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go try let's some go, hot sauce. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> let's all go right. sauce some wings. I'm, I'm bowing out for this part. Never before seen Never saucing Never before seen on wings. camera. I don't like that you guys are filming yeah. this because this is proprietary information. Oh. Hello! Oh, can we come in? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Victoria, associate producer, AKA Sauce Boss. Sauce Boss. The Sauce Boss. Oh my god. What do you gosh. got in store for us, Sauce Boss? Okay, well, I am up to wing number eight, which is uh -huh. the bomb. So everybody hold your breath. Oh. Okay. I've always been curious, can people kind of dictate what they want? Like if someone wants only yeah. flats. Yeah, we have yeah. actually a, like a few guests that say uh, like only flats. Only flats. So Yeah, that's the way to do it. Are you a flats person? Yeah. Uh oh. Well, why? I'm a drums man. Okay, well that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's a perfect there combo. You, so you can yeah. eat all the drums yeah. and I'll eat all the flats. <laughs> What's the process? Yes. Okay, so I'm actually gonna make a third one. For oh, you. for I'll wait, a four. Yeah, four. Do you wait. want one? Hey, fifth. Come Hell on. no! Come, Come on! on. No. Come on! I didn't tell you to pay for the tea. Okay, so I technically just eyeball it. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. <laughs> but <laughs> That's the a... point. Oh, that is potent. It is, it is potent. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gets the bomb. That smells insane. That looks beautifully. I want, I want a glove. It doesn't look that bad. Do we have any other questions before we dive in? <laughs> Only here once, you know? I'm here for a yeah, exactly. fun time now. This, is, this doesn't yeah. look that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this. Okay. Oh. oh my god, that's so hot. Yeah, this is really spicy. I think one bites enough. Oh my god. I'm fine. <laughs> you know, it hits you here. 
in your sinuses. Oh my God, I'm getting dizzy. Hot sauce. Wait, I'm getting really dizzy right now. <laughs> That's how we sauce the wings. Oh my God. <laughs> That's really bad. Wait, can I, can I, I need a Sprite or something. That's not cool. That is definitely worse than the last stab. Yo, you have it like all over your mouth. I'm scared for it you. It hurts. That's not nice. That's, that's really not nice. So in conclusion, <laughs> this is not a joke, you guys. Hi, we already out. We oh, ran yeah. out of foil. Uh-oh. There's a big one over there. You've been right foiled. Go. <laughs> you might want to wash your hands first, though. <laughs> See you later. Bye. I was like thinking, hmm, what would be a really good antidote to spice that probably Sean has never tried. I'm sure he's tried so many different antidotes. To cool down, for me, I always think of watermelon. I bet he never tried a baby watermelon filled with noodles. It's inspired by naengmyeon, which is a cold noodle dish. We have some uh, chilled noodles. I'm gonna do a like Korean marinade glaze. It's made with soy sauce, sesame oil, garlic, ginger. We have pear puree, onion puree. So everything that was in this watermelon, the flesh, we just blend it together, strain it. I know this looks crazy, but please, a uh, fresh lemon. These are watermelon rinds that has been pickled. Some shrimp, little green garnish, black sesame seeds to mimic the watermelon seeds. I mean, how fun is that? He usually has ice cream. I'm making a left at the curtain. Oh, I remember now. Hi! Come on in. <laughs> Hi. Hey. How was it? Hey, come on in. So much fun. Okay, what do we okay, got going on here? This is a treat. I'm sure you've never had an antidote like this before. No, I've never. But it's pretty. Yeah. All right. From the bottom up. Yeah. To here. <laughs> Very refreshing. Yeah. Very refreshing. And then I think though, what I gotta do. Oh is kinda like... yeah. That's what you gotta do. Mmm. -mm. Oh. So it's just a, it's a take on this uh, noodle dish in Korea called naengmyeon, okay. which is a cold noodle dish. And usually uh, you have it at the end of a Korean barbecue meal. So like after you eat all this like heavy kind of spicy food, yeah. you cool down with this like refreshing bowl of noodles. And then I decided to like kind of put, put it in a watermelon instead. I don't know. Just a crazy idea. Well, I'm happy you did it. <laughs> after running a wing gauntlet, mm -hmm. Kind of a very refreshing antidote, like a good yeah. way to land the dismount. I'm headed to Heatness oh, to meet exciting. with Noah. All right, well, tell Noah I said hi. I will. We're gonna get a deep dive in all things hot sauce. Okay. Here we are at Heatness. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay. Calling off heat eater. See, welcome sign just for us. Okay, Noah. Noah's here. <laughs> What's up? Hey, Esther, welcome. Oh my gosh, you're hiding back here the whole time? Working. How are you? Oh yeah, of course. Hot sauce need work, right? How are yeah. you? Good, good. Yeah. Welcome to the Heatness Test Kitchen. Wow, so this is where all the the magic craziness happens. happens, the magic. For the last mm -hmm. eight years now, mm -hmm. um, we've been back here working up new flavors, new concepts of hot sauces, and just having fun. God, to be a hot sauce connoisseur. It's a tough job, but I somebody's know. gotta do somebody's it. Somebody's gotta do it. I, it is a hard job. It know? can be. You For know. your stomach, especially. Well, yeah, your tasting intestines. days where we have to do full runs. You know, before a season of hot ones, mm -hmm. a new lineup goes up, We'll have to do that run through, you know, it could be 10 times. Wait, does Sean... He doesn't get involved. So the first time that he actually tastes each lineup is when they shoot the first episode of that season. Wow. For the final run through, it's me and Chris Schoenberger. We do the full set of wings. We do the full timing of the mm -hmm. show and with the sauces just to make sure it all works well. Each season, all the hot sauces get 
swapped out. Some will repeat uh, like the last mm -hmm. stab, um, but we have new versions of the last stab from time to time. They actually have a bottle here. This is one of the first bottles ever of the last dab to come out. Um, so that one is with Pepper X. And then the newest version mm -hmm. is the last dab Apollo. And this is made with the Apollo pepper, which is also from Smoke and Ed, uh -huh. who's the Guinness World Record holding pepper breeder who came up with the Carolina Reaper, Pepper X, and now the Apollo. Wow. Wait, so then you build a tolerance to peppers then? Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. the way that chili peppers works is they have a molecule inside that's called capsaicin. It activates the same receptor that would be if you took a match and touched it to your hand and the capsaicin molecule just tricks it into telling your brain that you're being burned. That's insane. So eventually, mm -hmm. if you keep doing it, your brain realizes what's going on. You develop this tolerance. Where does that come from in the chili? Is it in the seed? It's in the membrane that holds the seeds. Right. Actually, I have here, this is a tincture of that oil. So this is from Pepper X and this is just concentrate. Fully concentrated. Yeah. That's dangerous stuff. Do you want to try some? I, I do want to try some, but I think <laughs> I might have to uh, build, build, yeah, build my we'll tolerance start up to that. Something else. This is actually a sauce that's going to be on the next season of Hot Ones. Okay. Okay. So this is, what do you think? Like an eight? This is actually more like a nine. Oh, it's like a nine. Okay. That's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Did you just get a little rush from that one? Yeah. Your brain thinks you're on fire and it releases adrenaline and serotonin and endorphins. So it releases all these good mm -hmm. brain chemicals that make you feel really good. And that's why people get hooked on it. Yes, it's addictive. Also, I do think that it's a great like digestive. <laughs> like, yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, go straight through your system. A woman came into the shop here and she's looking at the stuff and she said, one time my son had your products mm -hmm. and he crapped his pants. And I started laughing. It was Bobby Lee's mom. <laughs> Oh. Did something just happen? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. No. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my God, so she came into the store yeah. and told that story? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I freaking love that. Should we try it? The way that it's made is they'll take hundreds of pounds of the peppers and put them into the CO2 isolate machine that binds the oil that's in the chili and extracts just purely that. It sounds really scary. Should we do it? I feel like I have to try Like when when else would I ever try this in my life? Should FaceTime smoking Ed? Oh my God, can we? Oh hey God, brother. Hey brother, how are you doing? Smoking Ed. Hi smoking Ed. Ed, this is Hi. Esther. Esther's filming a show uh, called Heat Eaters, and we have your tincture here. And we're both really, really scared, and we're just wondering, is this safe to eat? You might not like the experience that comes with <laughs> it, but it's very safe to eat. Hey, guess what? I have one in my pocket. Oh my God, he carries it around in his <laughs> pocket. So will you do a little tincture with us? Sure, I will. All right, I'm scared. Don't be scared. I'm terrified. All you do is give the dropper a little squeeze and squirt it on your tongue. That was kind of a lot. Well, we're just going to take a single drop. I'm a little crazy. Don't do what I do. All right, you ready? Okay, yes. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Doesn't it taste mm, delicious? It's kind of chocolatey. Yeah. It's actually really delicious and it hasn't per permeated in my mouth yet and I feel it coming. Uh -oh. oh, sh- I think I'm losing my vision. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh, my heart's going. I feel it like right here. Yeah. About 40%. This is the equivalent of like doing a CrossFit for an hour. <laughs> oh my God. No, that was not a good idea. I don't think it was a good idea. I'm getting the chills. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's starting to like swell in my head. <laughs> Take a sure. Happy man. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I love you, brother. Enjoy the ride. Love you, Ed. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. That was not a good idea. Oh my God. <laughs> it's really bad. Are you okay? <laughs> And it's getting worse. Oh my god. I don't think anything's gonna help at this point. 
Do you, it like I feel insane. it in my brain, like I'm all like loopy, like my vision's off. Lightheaded for sure. I'm really like hot right now. I'm, I'm cold. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> Should we sell this stuff? <sighs> I think you might get sued. Okay, we're back, you guys. Oh God, that was so intense. That was it's yeah. still going on for me, but you know, 25 minutes will really help. Time heals. Time does heal. Thank you so much for the deep dive and the lessons on hot sauce. I've learned so much and this is so much fun. Really painful, but also like really fun. And now I'm gonna go like lay down somewhere because I feel like I need a break. Thanks for pushing me to push my own limits um, because I do not do stuff like this every day. It's scary. I mean, you shouldn't do you that You want a little day. souvenir of your visit? Really? <laughs> Yo. Thank you. Thanks for coming up there. So we have a tradition around here after every episode where we take the extra wings and sauce them up. We don't know what sauces are on them. It's the Hot Ones Wing Roulette. Wing Roulette. What do you got? Close your eyes. Roulette. Close your eyes. There was a da bomb left. Did you I didn't get, get it? it. Megan? Come on. Troy? Wing Roulette? What's that about? Ooh, that one looks dangerous. Has anyone gotten the bomb yet? Hmm. It's not a the bomb. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, but it's like... Oh, wait, that's spicy. <laughs> Win roulette! Win roulette! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Esther from Heat Eaters. Thanks for watching. Oh, God, that was spicy. <laughs> Please like and subscribe, and to watch more episodes, click here.